idea what you just did? You just bet against the American economy. If you're wrong, you can lose it all. The banks and defraud the American people. Now we can kick them in the teeth. Okay, here we go. Big Short is directed by Adam McKay, who has directed some of my favorite comedies of all time, like Anchorman, Talladega Nights, and Step Brothers. Has returned for a serious drama about the collapse of the economy. Boy, that escalated quickly. The Big Short has another amazing ensemble cast that consists of the likes of Christian Bale, Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, Brad Pitt. The Big Short is about men who work in the world of finance, and after Christian Bale's character predicts the collapse of the mid-2000s economy, they decide to take on big banks and attempt to make them pay for their greed. Now, this, much like Spotlight, is an extremely adult movie. Now, granted, this movie isn't as dark or as serious as Spotlight, but granted, it's still not a kid's movie. The Big Short is, as I said, about the collapse of the economy, so it can get very confusing at times because they use a lot of uh, economic terms that if you're not up to date with, you won't understand what's going on. So in order for this movie to be good and entertaining, it has to do a good job of explaining everything in a way that uh, lesser educated folk can understand. The way they explain things in this movie is, as no surprise, totally hilarious. And I don't want to spoil it for you guys because I didn't really understand how they were going to, but when they were like, here's how this works, I was like laughing the entire time. And this movie does the same thing that Interstellar did. And what I mean by that is in Interstellar, when they would talk about this big concept or this big idea, Matthew McConaughey's character had to be like, what? So they can explain it to us. And then they would like dumb it down in like an analogy so we could get it. They say you want to go from here to there, but it's too far, right? Mm -hmm. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. And it's tough to explain what's going on without taking you out of the movie or feel like it's really unnecessary because you're like, well, that character is really smart. Why would they have to explain it to us? And I feel like Interstellar and The Big Short was at, both had those very big obstacles to overcome. As I said earlier, this movie is full of amazing performances by a great ensemble cast. Steve Carell does another amazing job and just proves that Foxcatcher wasn't just a one-off. Christian Bale is incredible as always. But my biggest problem with The Big Short is even though it tries really hard, I get that it tries to explain everything to us, uh, a lot of it is still really confusing. I guess that may be just me being dumb, but the entire movie you're trying to play catch up on and try to understand what's going on, uh, and so even when I left, I wasn't extremely sure what exactly was happening scene to scene. Another thing that bothered me is this time in America and the collapse of the economy was a very devastating time in American history. And they kind of turn it into almost a joke. And they really only take like a one moment to really express how sad and depressing this is. And I feel like if the movie would have had more of the how horrible this situation is, I feel like it would have impacted me more. I'm not saying I want to see a really depressing movie about the fall of the economy and for two hours. I'm just saying if they would have added a little more drama and refrained from the comedy a little more, then I feel like I would have enjoyed it a lot more than I did. But apart from that, I really did enjoy The Big Short. It's funny, it's entertaining, it's got a great cast, it's well directed, so I'm going to give The Big Short an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, click on the link down below to subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and movie related things. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. understand what's going on and that's a big uh...
You can do it. As I said earlier, this movie is full of amazing casts. What? 